welcome back to my channel today's video is all about my recovery routine i'm going to show you some typical mobility and stretching movements which will help you to restore your body after a hard session on the water or after some hard crashes just try to follow along those movements and do as many repetitions as you feel comfortable. I'm trying to connect some movements, some kind of yoga movements like the downward dog, cobra, child's pose, cat and cow, then with some mobility for the back, for the upper spine, some rotation movements, which is great to re release the upper back, the shoulders. Now moving on to the shoulders, stretching those thighs, then moving onto the standing pancake with an additional shoulder stretch. Then some more for the hips to loosen up those tight hips. This is really great for some hip mobility. Of course, both sides. Then moving onto the hamstrings, hip again. Just flowing around, doing those movements dynamically. I try to incorporate some rotation always. Some more for the shoulders, shoulder mobility and stretching. Then again, pancake, but in the seated position now. This is great for the, for the lower back too. Doing some more rotation and lateral movements to loosen up the spine. Then some 90-90s, a hip movement again with bending forward. And then approaching the lower back, the hips, rotation for the spine again also adding some shoulder movement, trying to stay on the floor. Hanging is also always a great idea to loosen up those shoulders and also pretty good for grip strength. But I mainly do it now to loosen up. So just hang off a bar, brace your core, you can also swing a bit and yeah, just try to hang as long as you can or as long as you feel like it helps you. And then also some skin the cat like swinging the legs around. To stretch out those shoulders. Next up, I like to perform also some static stretching. Here, some more for your hips. Stretch those hips and glutes. Try to angle the bench a bit. I'm doing around 45 degrees. Keep the rear leg straight. And try to bend forward. Then some stretching for the shoulders. First, the elbows bend, forearms, fore and back. The elbows bend first and afterwards, I put the hands on the bench and perform an even deeper stretch for the shoulders and for the whole upper back. Then some more static st stretching. This one is called the couch stretch. Just go close to a bench, put your knee on the floor, try to put the knee as close as you can to the bench and keep your upper body upright and perform a deep stretch. Some more stretching for the forearms. And that's it. 
so this was basically my recovery gym routine just a little bit of stretching and some dynamic movements let's head to the cold plunge let's dive into the cold plunge with a view with a beautiful view so Let's hop inside. Yeah, So this was basically it, ending the day with some rest and recovery, some nice stretching and a cold water plunge. If you guys liked it, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment what type of content you want to see in the next video here from Hypnotics. See you all in the next video.